Hello, it's Paul here again, and thanks for coming to my channel. Um, I just wanted to talk about this Canon EF 70 to 300 f4 to 5.6 IS Mark II lens. Um, it's quite an interesting lens, but I don't think it is a good choice for any of you photographers out there. The reason I'm saying that is 70 to 300. Obviously, they, they've basically remodified the existing. Uh, 70 to 300 as well as the older 100 to 300 at lens. The problem is those lenses are always quite soft. The problem I've got is the price. £498 here on Amazon. It's not an L lens, right? It's not going to be super tack sharp. The aperture is 5.6 so it's quite dark. Um, and it's USM. It's not an STM lens so it's not going to be that brilliant in terms of uh, sound for, for video basically. Um, you do get a little window so you can actually watch the actual focus and see the, the aperture on there. Um, but it's a, it's a unique idea, don't get me wrong, putting a, a display on there and it's, it, you know, instead of the older um, dials, you know, in terms of your focus um, distances. However, I do think it's overpriced for what it is because it's to be honest with you it's not tack sharp at 300 um, I think I'll, I checked out um, Photo Rex um, review on this particular lens and while I do think it's probably a good lens for the as a general walk around lens I do feel it's well overpriced so you're talking £498 for this particular lens. Um, so, but for a little bit more, right, for an extra uh, £300, right, you could get a Canon EF 7200 F4L lens. And you could probably pick it up used for around £600. So for an extra £100 used, you can get an L lens. This is the reason I don't recommend this particular Canon EF70 to 300 walk around lens. Granted, the F4 is a bit less in terms of um, this, you know, focal length. However, you can always put a, an extender on that, a 1.4 extender, and extend your uh, lens to around 280 millimeter, not far off 300, at uh, 5.6. Um, you, you could get an old Mark 1 extender for about £100, £130, something like that. So that's my thoughts of this particular lens. The thing is, right, I think this lens should be at a price point of around £300 and no more than that. Because it's basically a plastic lens with obviously a metal mount um, and it's really pretty good in terms of its op optical performance but it's overpriced you make the decision which you think is better for you but personally I would go for the L lens